Baker Weather starts now with Grant Garland. Welcome back everybody. I hope that you have had a fantastic Thursday. We were able to see some rain and some snow today, which we desperately needed. And we're still actually looking at a few spots getting in on some light rain, light drizzle as well as some snow. So great falls starting to see though us uh, start to dry out up towards Fort Benton. That's already taking place as well as Geraldine. And then we're looking at some snow right along the uh, Nyhart area as well as Stanford and north of White Sulphur Springs. Also taking into effect Winnet as well as Jordan and also Circle getting in on some snow right now, but we are starting to see that drying trend from north to south and these uh, these uh, showers as well as sprinkles should start to diminish over the next several hours. And in fact, a winter weather advisory will be lifted right around 8 p.m. Due to the fact that, and this is mainly also encompassing folks that are above 4,000 feet. But for those in Lewistown as well as Nyhart, there are some uh, concerns with slippery conditions as well as visibility levels dropping down to less than a mile. And let's talk about that actually. We're seeing two miles right now in Lewistown as well as Helena. Still seeing tens though in Great Falls, so not too bad there. However, as we go into the nighttime hours, we're going to start to see more and more fog developing, and that's going to give us some concerns for the morning commute. So please make sure that you give yourself a few extra minutes for that so that way we can get to work safely. As far as what we saw today in terms of precipitation, almost two tenths of an inch of rain here in the Electric City, uh, around over a tenth in Lewistown as well as Helena. Out towards Jordan picked up five hundredths of an inch of rain, so not too bad. We needed this due to the fact that we're looking at dry to moderate uh, drought conditions for our area. This will help offset our uh, deficit. Now as we head into the nighttime hours and go into tomorrow morning, we'll start to see the clouds break apart for a mostly sunny day. Low pressure starts to track down towards the southern towards the south around uh, 5 p.m. continuing to uh, make that path through Saturday morning. We'll start to see clouds though build in along the high line, possibly a few snow showers out towards Missoula. Not anything major though. We are going to be drying out as a high pressure builds in for Saturday into Sunday and then our winds are going to kick up too on Sunday. And as we go into uh, throughout the day tomorrow though, we are looking at only 10 to 20 mile per hour winds gusting, so not too bad at all. But as we head into Sunday again, 30 mile per hour winds expected our wind with our gusts. So tonight, patchy fog, we're going to be drying out. We're already seeing that trend happening right now. Tomorrow morning, that AM fog, it should lift in the uh, in the mid to late parts of the morning, mostly sunny skies. That fog could actually also offset our high temperatures as it keeps us a little bit cooler this weekend again. Like I said, the winds will pick up, but right now taking a look outside very blurry, so don't stare at it too long. You might go cross side that is outside looking at the US Bank eye cam temperatures 35 degrees in the Electric City, 33 in Helena, 32 in Lewistown, 36 in Haver out towards uh, Glasgow, 34 degrees. The average is right around 35 with the record set back in 2003 when it was 61 degrees. Also the year that we saw Ben Affleck take on the role as Daredevil. Jennifer Gardner as Electra. 24 degrees tonight in Great Falls, 25 in Lewistown as well as Hayes. Going throughout the day tomorrow, sunny skies will be the name of the game at around 1 p.m. We'll see that. As we head in throughout our next seven days, we'll continue to see our temperatures staying well above the average for this time of year. And also, we'll stay dry until next Wednesday where we start to see a next chance of rain late Wednesday night. Tim?